things that we've been working on and frustrated about early on in the season, you can finally see it come together, having a defensive mindset every single night. We held them to 105 tonight, so, you know, that, that's just a great defensive effort right there. I think uh, we're just being more attention to detail. You know, we're just playing hard uh, from the first quarter to the um, you know fourth quarter. All right, Stephen A., after last night's game, we were thinking, who has the better chance to reach the finals? You think it's the Clippers after they made some moves or the Bucks? It's the Milwaukee Bucks. Max Kellerman, for simple arithmetic reasons. They only got one team they need to go through, pretty much. Mm -hmm. the, the Western Conference is wide open, especially if, uh, you know, with the sole express purpose of, of uh, the, you know, with the only exception, rather, is Anthony Davis if he's 100%. Then there's nothing to talk about. The Lakers will cakewalk to the finals. Outside of that, it's a crapshoot. I mean, when you look at the teams in the Western Conference, it's the Lakers, it's the Clippers, it's the Jazz, it's the Denver Nuggets, it's the Portland Trail Blazers, it's the Phoenix Suns. Um, you just look at how loaded the Western Conference is with the Dallas Mavericks being an outside threat and what have you. Uh, we can't ignore that. In the Eastern Conference, it's about Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Philly. Period. You know, we can look at Miami. We can look at Boston as having an outside chance and stuff like that. But it really comes down to Milwaukee, Philly, and, of course, Brooklyn being the number one team. And what if Brooklyn has to face one of them before the other? See, I, I, don't, you know, I don't know if Milwaukee and Philly would have to go against each other before they face Brooklyn. Because then, from an arithmetic perspective, mathematical perspective, then obviously that would be different because that would be similar to what you have to go through in the Western Conference, but I'm not anticipating that. I'm anticipating them having to face only one of them. And I think it's a situation where it's just like, hey, that's what it is. Whereas in the Western Conference, I think the Western Conference is considerably more loaded. That's all. That's the only reason. The Clippers, I think, are far more likely to win the championship than the Bucs. No, I was talking about getting out. All even right. getting at, to, even to getting, the finals. I think right. to reach the finals, the Clippers are far more likely than the Bucs, and I'll tell you why. And I saw it last night again with Giannis. Giannis can hit a wide open three. If you put a little pressure on him defensively, he does not hit that shot. The philosophy will be the exact same as it's been. Mm -hmm. The difference being they have Drew Holiday, right. who's a clutch player in the right. playoffs. Right. I don't, but, but here's the problem, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. I saw James Harden and Kyrie Irving go through the best teams in the Western Conference, five straight games, on the road, beat them all, Without KD, once KD gets back, it's a wrap. But let's put Brooklyn aside. So they ain't getting out of the East if, if they have all three guys. Like, forget Milwaukee getting out of the East if Brooklyn's healthy. Let's say they're not. But Embiid is playing for Philadelphia. I don't think Milwaukee's better than Philadelphia. I'll tell you something else. In the playoffs, I don't know if Milwaukee's going to be better than Miami. They weren't last year. I don't know. But I look at this Clippers team mm -hmm. with... Kawhi and Paul George, the real issue with the Clippers is Paul George is not a star when they need him to be a star. Mm -hmm. They got Rondo. That's going to help that. Okay. It's going to help that. And it's going to help Kawhi because Kawhi doesn't have to play point forward. Okay. You look at how deep this team is, really take Ibaka and Batum. Rondo, Ibaka, Batum, Kawhi, and Paul George, that's a lot. But then look at the bench. Zubac can really play. Mar I like Zubac. Lakers gave him up. Yep. Marcus him. Morris can play. Mm -hmm. Kennard, you know what Kennard's hitting? I know you didn't like that deal. I don't. Do you know what Kennard's shooting from three this year? I looked well, it up. Yeah. Almost 50%. He's shooting 49%. Taking three threes a game, shooting 49%. Reggie Jackson can play. Patrick Beverly, we know, can play. What about this kid? Man, he's good. Like, they have a deep. They go 11 deep on the Clippers for real with 11 dudes who can play and a real all-star quality starting five. The Clippers, the real roadblock standing in their way is a healthy AD and LeBron, which we don't know is going to happen. Denver is real tough, no doubt about it. Yeah, I, don't, I, cannot, I, yeah, I did mention that. Yeah, De Denver is going to be right. real tough. But when I look at the Bucs and what they're capable of versus an unbeatable Brooklyn team, mm -hmm. and I look at the Clippers fully loaded, I don't see a single team where I'm like, if everyone's healthy, the Clippers have no shot. I think everyone healthy, including the Lakers, the Clippers have a real good shot. If everyone's healthy in the East, 
Milwaukee has no shot. Milwaukee's never going to get by that Brooklyn team. Forget that. Give well, that. I understand that mode of thinking, and, and but but we're coming from two different angles. I totally understand you saying if everybody's healthy. I'm just thinking about the number of teams in the West that you have to compete with compared to what you have to compete with in the Eastern Conference. You have a top three, and then there's everybody else. In the Western Conference, you have a top six, top seven. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I think the road to prosperity is significantly tougher coming out of the West than it's going to be out of the Eastern Conference. That's the only reason why I say the Bucs have an easier path. It's not that ultimately if you face Brooklyn, Brooklyn's going to be easy in everybody. I'm picking them to win it all. I'm just simply saying that when you look at the road that you have to travel to get to that, I'm thinking it's far more difficult just round by round for the Clippers, I anticipate, than it would I'll be give you something else. for the Milwaukee Bucks. You know who I think matches up best with Brooklyn out of the West? I think it's actually the Clippers. I think the Clippers, because they have two dominant two-way wings. The whole key is, can Paul George perform under pressure? Hold it. That's hold the it, whole hold key. It. With all due respect, and I love me some Paul George, one of my favorite people in the world, and I think he's a damn good player. And Kawhi Leonard is a silent assassin. We all know that, but I think he could elevate his level of leadership. Here's the bottom line. Don't need to with Rondo. Here's the bottom line. You don't get to call them great two-way players after they let Jamal Murray drop 40 in a game seven. They are. They're, you're going to say they're not great two-way gonna, players? No, what Kawhi? I'm, no, what I'm saying to you is this. You're the man. It's a birth to the conference finals on the line. And not only do you lose y'all fold offensively, Defensively, Jamal Murray dropped That's 40 one game, man. Yeah, It's a game seven. It matters. After all the game sevens or important games of Kawhi's well, well, career. Let me tell you something right now. What have you done for me lately? I'm a Janet Jackson fan. And let me tell you something right now. What have you done for me lately matters to me. I'm telling you right now. I'm not questioning their abilities. I'm not saying that they're not these players. What I'm saying is the residual right. impact that was left behind the indelible mark is that you let Jamal Murray drop 40 on you Rondo's in a fix game that. seven. Mm. Rondo will fix that. No, I'm not, letting, I'm not forgetting that. Different. I'm right. not forgetting According that. According to our basketball power index here at ESPN, the Bucks have the fifth best odds to reach the finals, and the Clippers have the sixth best. So right there, neck and neck. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.